You give me the $1,000 Aptos testnet airdrop that costs $0 to do when you are in the right video because in this video I'm going to show you how to win another $1,000 with just $0 cost. In this video I'm going to show you how to interact with the Zeta Chain airdrop. Zeta Chain is a layer 1 EVM compatible blockchain that is yet to launch its token and it is at the testnet phase. And to do this airdrop you need three things. You need to have Metamax wallet extension on your Chrome if you are using a PC like me and you also need to have Metamax wallet extension on Kiwi Bazaar if you are using a mobile phone. Second, you need to have a Twitter or X account. And lastly, you need to have an Ethereum Gwelly on your Metamax wallet address. To get started, all these things are free. But before we get started, what you want to do for us is you want to like this video and subscribe to this channel because that is the only way you can repay us for giving out this free information. So let's get started. Okay, so welcome guys. So this is how to do the Zeta Chain airdrop right this is how to do the zeta chain airdrop so my uh my referral link will be in the description below if you use the referral link you will get free 5000 zeta points which will be added as a collateral or as a criteria for the airdrop so you want to make sure that you you actually click on the link in the description below so that you can earn free 5000 um tokens so when you, when you, when you click on the link now you see this right claim your invite points so the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you verify with twitter you want to make sure that you verify with twitter right so your twitter account must be connected must be logged in on your device so you click on verify with twitter and then it will pop up for you to authorize the claim now you can now see you authorize the app when i click on authorize app Now, here we go. We have now, now you can now claim your points. So you can you click on continue, continue, and you in the touching. So you'll be asked to follow them on Twitter. So you click on follow. Now they have been followed, right? Then you go back. You click on connect wallet and get assets. So you want to make sure that you have go early Ethereum wallet logged in on your metamask right it, you are using to network goeli ethereum and zeta chain network so when you click on your metamask when you click on your metamask wallet you log in so now you can now see that my ethereum is goeli so your own may not be goeli so what you do is you click on the network and on your own metamask for you can see now for my own, my own show network is already on. So you have to toggle on the show test network. When you toggle on the show test network, you'll be able to see Goeli Ethereum. So this is my Goeli Ethereum. Now that my Goeli Ethereum is now on my MetaMask, then you click on MetaMask. So a pop-up will come up in your MetaMask, right? A pop-up will come up in your MetaMask. And you'll be asked to authorize the transaction. So here we go, you click on next and you connect. Now we are now connected to the Goeli Ethereum. Now what we want to do next is we want to request for the Zeta chain tokens. It is these Zeta chain tokens that you use in getting, in doing the airdrop, right? So you click on request assets. Then it will be automatically sent to your wallet that you've connected. Now you can now see you will receive three Zeta items on your wallet soon, right? Now, what I want to do now is you want to make sure you add Zeta Chain Network on your MetaMask. You want to add Zeta Chain Network on your MetaMask following these instructions. Now, you have to click on, I'll provide the link in the description below. So this link, I'll provide it for you to be able to add your network. So what I want to do is you want to click on MetaMask. You want to go and you want to add the network to your MetaMask. So you click on MetaMask. Then you click on the networks. Then you click on Add Network. You can see this one right on your MetaMax wallet, either on your PC or your, on your phone. When you click on Add Network, you'll be asked to input the network details. Right? Please pay close attention to this. It's very very important. Now you click on Add Network manually. Now on this one, you now input details that are here in that docs that you provide the link in the description below. So network, you can see. 
on this on this our page we have network claim rpc url currency symbol blockchain explorer chain id so if you go back to your metamask you can see network name new rpc url chain id blockchain explorer call. so you just input the details one by one right so let's start so i'll input the network name zeta chains Athens. paste it here i input the call symbol i input the url right you input the url you have to copy the url you copy it you paste it here then you go back copy the um currency symbol you paste it here i'll be sorry you paste it at the currency symbol right then you go back to the chain id the chain id yes then you paste it here right consider this is very very easy the last thing you want to input the block explorer so you copy the link on block explorer then you paste it here now you can now click on save now when you click on save you will be asked to switch now you can now see that the three zeta tokens that we requested for when we were here right you can see here that you said you will receive three zeta tokens so this this is the three zeta token right now that you've done that now let's explore the ecosystem so you click on explore ecosystem or you go back and click on home you click on home so when you click on home you see all these dabs you you are to interact with them not all of them right we're only going to interact with some specific amount from them so we want to interact with only few of them so the first one we want to interact with a swap we want to swap from one token to another we want to swap from one token to another now you click on try now so after clicking on try now now you must make sure that your metamax wallet is already saved at it's already connect it's already saved at zeta chain at 10 theory if it's not saved that it's this wallet is not this is not going to connect so you want to do is you want to click on connect to a wallet then you click on metamask you pop up your ask you to confirm right it pop up your ask you to confirm Then click on next. Now here we go. You can now see that my balance of three Zeta is connected, and that was because my network is on Zeta chain on my MetaMask. If it is on another network, it is not going to get connected. So what you want to do is you want to swap. You can just swap literally two amount of tokens. In this case, I can start to zero point one. Make sure you don't use all your Zeta token at once because you'll be using it for gas fees, right? So you click on swap. You confirm swap, and the pop up will come up in your wallet. Okay, so something will pop up in your wallet for you to confirm this. Then you confirm. So once you are confirmed, now you can now see, so you can check the transaction here. So let's go back and do more transactions. So again, you can go back here, pick another token, wrap Zeta, then swap from that again. You can swap, let's say I want to swap 0 0.5, right? So you click on wrap. So when you click on wrap, so, it will ask you to confirm your wallet. So we confirm and we are good to go, right? Now this has been confirmed, right? This has been confirmed already. I think I clicked it twice. So you can now see my balance of 0 0.5 wrapped Zeta. So the next thing we want to do is we want to add to liquidity. So you click on liquidity, a drop, a drop down box will show. You click on add. So you click on add. Now you have to select Zeta and any other tokens. So in this case, you can select Zeta and A swap token. These are the two tokens that are currently available. So you can just input 0 0.1. Um, just make sure you are not using all your Zeta tokens at once. It's very, very important. So you click on approve is. Okay, let's say I want to 0, 0.0. Okay, let me let me approve the let me approve the transaction before I now confirm it. So here we go, approve. So this one is 0 0.04. Let me say 0 0.04. So let's approve this again. 
So this has been approved. So what I want to do next is we want to add liquidity. You click on add liquidity, confirm supply. Right. So this is just a simple. So you want to make sure that you are doing this thing on a on a frequency that you can pick. If I'm picking a three three days frequency or or week or weekly frequency, make sure you are consistent with it, right? So I've added liquidity to is. So let's add liquidity to wrap zeta too, right? So let's add zero point one five. Okay, it's pay. So now that this has been added. We are we can say so you can feel free to do more transactions on this, right? So we can see we are done with A swap. So let's go and pick another, let's go and pick another um another project on this ecosystem. So this is the ecosystem. So you go back to the ecosystem, then you can now pick any other one that you want. Let's try and pick another one here. Let's try and pick another one here, right? Okay, so um, okay, I'm looking for NFTs, right? I'm looking for NFTs that we can actually interact with, right? I'm looking for NFT we can interact with, right? Let's try this out. So feel free to to pick any project built on these dApps. Interact with this, let your interaction be scheduled. So now you're picking dApp store. So when you get here, click on open dApp store. So by clicking on open dApp store, then you want to click on wallet. Then click on EVM chains, which are the ones that are popular, right? So you click on, um, Okay, let's try and pick, let's try and see how we are going to connect our wallet to this. Okay. Um na 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 na. So um okay. Let's pick another dabs. Let's pick another dabs. We can we always have more dabs to play with, remember, right? We always have more dApps to play with. So let's pick another dApps. Um, all right, guys, let's pick another dApps. So let's pick, um, so let's pick more, let's try with more. And I I would love to pick an NFT space where we can also interact with an NFT project, right? So you can also interact with an NFT project. So let me pick Ghost NFT. Okay. Let's try this out. AB swap. So feel free to. I'm intentionally doing this so you can always know that you can feel free to interact with any DApps from here, any DApps from here, right? Any dApps from here, you can feel free to interact with it. Okay. Feel free to interact with it. And the ones you can interact with, make sure it shows live on testnet. For you to be able to interact with it, it has to show live on testnet, right? It has to show live on testnet. So um I'm trying to look for. Okay, I'm trying to look for one. Yes, I think Ghost NFT. I'll provide the link in the description below. Ghost NFT Zeta Lab. So this project, so yeah, is on Zeta chain. This project is on Zeta chain, right? So. This project is it. So let's try other other dApps that we've actually clicked on. So you click on launch app on this EB swap. So the ones that are interacted with here, I will provide the link in the description below, right? I'll provide the link in the description below for you guys to actually interact with. So okay. EB swap. 
All right, guys. So okay. So let's pick an NFC project. So for this one, you click on collateralize your NFC. So uh ghost chain is a is a DApps where you can actually interact with NFTs projects built on with NFT project built on Zeta chain blockchain, right? So now here we go. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you change the network to Zeta chain. So you scroll down, you click on this drop box, you scroll down, you click on Zeta chain test. So you click on Zeta chain test. Then what you want to make sure you okay, Zeta chain test, you scroll down. Zeta chain test. Then you click on connect wallet. So it asks you to connect your MetaMax wallet, right? So to ask you to connect your MetaMax wallet, then I've connected. Now that you have connected, now you feel free to claim this NFT. Claim your free JML NFT on Zeta chain test. So you click on claim here. And what you want to do is you want to make sure you change the network back to Zeta chain test. Right, Zeta chain test. Make sure the network is on Zeta chain test. So you connect the wallet, connect MetaMask. So you have to claim the NFT, right? You know, so if you're interacting with the blockchain, you don't just swap alone. You do other things like claim NFT. So you click on claim free GNFT now, right? I think it's giving us an error. It's is giving us an error, unpredicted gas. Okay. Um, I think our gas fee is not enough. Right. I think we need to have at least five NFT for you to keep the gas fee, five tokens. So let's try as much as possible to interact with these DAVs, leaving the NFT for now, right? So you click on this pass NFT, right? So you click on this pass NFT. If you have to input any amount of token you want to add as collateral. So everything you're doing here, you're trying to create transaction count on Zeta chain, which is very, very important. You're trying to create transaction count on Zeta chain, right? So you click on this, you click on confirm, and you are confirmed. So now this is just so feel free to use any dabs. And my the last note of advice is make sure that you are not just you are you don't just do it once. Make sure you are consistent with the actions for you to get a better reward and make sure that you have at least 50 to 100 transaction count. This is how to check it, right? How to check transaction counts. So what I want to do is you go to explorer.zhchain.com, like this one, right? Explorer.zhchain.com. So this is their scan. So what you want to do is you want to copy your zhchain wallet address. So this is where you copy it. When you go to your MetaMask wallet, click on copy. Right? When you copy, then you go to this box and you put your address. You put your address and you go and you click. You input your address and you search for it. So you can now see that I have up to... Can see transactions I have. These are all my transactions. I have up to one, two, three, four. I think like seven, right? Like seven transactions. So make sure you do up to fifty transactions, and your fifty transactions should not be done in a day. Spread it across a period of time. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel. That's the only way you can actually reward us for this hard work. And you are welcome. See you in the next videos, guys.